it's day 37 for me episode 35 and today what i wanted to talk about was being prepared for opportunities when they finally come creating opportunities and being aware enough to see opportunities when they present themselves to you because a lot of times if you're not aware if you're not paying attention opportunities will slip you by and you won't you won't, you won't see them uh won't see them because you're busy doing other things and opportunities definitely slip you by I guess what I'm trying to say is uh, if you're not consciously looking for opportunity they'll just yeah they'll just go by you you won't even notice them you'll be like one of those people that say what just happened when all of a sudden they start seeing I'll cut it out. I'll go on to the next thing because that, that shit isn't making sense. But opportunity will slip you by if you aren't paying attention, if you aren't focused on finding opportunities. Um, even subconsciously. It's, it's, it's really a subconscious thing. Understanding, oh, I need... If you're, if you're constantly... Your subconscious mind you're constantly repeating it to yourself before you go to sleep when you wake up you're constantly uh thinking about it right uh finding opportunity or making a change making money opportunities your your raz you'll start being able to identify opportunities and see them uh more clearly because you're subconsciously focused on them there we go that's kind of what i was trying to say so that's Finding opportunities, being aware of opportunities, being prepared for opportunities is next. That's what I'm going to talk about next. And being prepared for opportunities, Abraham Lincoln has a quote. I think the quote from Abraham Lincoln was, I will prepare and work for when the opportunity presents itself. I believe it was I'll execute it or something like that but I probably butchered that but what I'm saying is being prepared for opportunity and finding opportunities are two different things you can find a million opportunities but if you're just waiting for the opportunity to present itself to then try to apply yourself and be able to execute on the opportunity it's not gonna work out so good you should always be prepared you never know what's going to present itself to you. Um, opportunities constantly present themselves to you. And if you're ready to take advantage of them, it's going to give you a heads, like a upper hand against the competition. And what I talked about yesterday, competition is everywhere. You are in a competition. So being, a, being prepared for when the opportunity presents itself is crucial. Alright, so I talked about being aware of opportunities. Oh, making opportunities. That was the third thing. Making opportunities. And that kind of goes along with the last one, being prepared. Because you may not be aware of it, but someone's always watching you. Somebody's watching me. <laughs> Nah, someone's always watching you, and you may you're you're not gonna know when they're watching you. Like if let's say work, there could be a promotion that you don't know about, or someone just got fired. An opportunity presents itself, and if you're not already actively applying yourself, you know you're opposed to you already actively applying yourself. You just create an opportunity for yourself because you were the first person they're thinking of because usually when something like that happens everybody starts being on their best behavior in a, a regular work environment uh to try to get promoted or or something like that but if you're already putting in the work 
if you're already taking action and setting an example, you know, you're going to be the first person thought of and you're automatically in there pretty much. Um, that's one way to create opportunities and it goes along with the last one. The other one, which is what I talked about yesterday, yeah, yesterday, which was, um, when everyone else expects you to quit or, um, things don't work out your way and you hit a big roadblock or a hiccup on the road. I think that's how the saying goes. I'm probably way off. But something bad happens and you execute anyway and you find a way and you make something out of nothing. And that's creating opportunity and failure. And that's one way to create opportunities as well. Let's say there's a snow day. The gyms are closed. I'll bring this to fitness. The gyms are closed. It's a snow day. Or it's a holiday. You do calisthenics at home or an at-home workout. You got some dumbbells at the house. You do a, a, a good workout at home. When other people miss that day, you create an opportunity for yourself to get an upper hand on the competition. You can always create opportunities. There's millions of ways. I don't know if there's millions of ways. I'm talking out my ass at this point. But there's plenty. If you if you think about it long enough, you'll find a way. At the end of the day, if you think about it long enough, you'll find a way. If you really want something, you'll figure out a way to get it done. And, you know, you can find opportunity in any situation. I think you can always see the good in the situation, even if it is bad, and make something of it to make the best of it. And in a way, you're creating a good opportunity or a good momentum in those opportunities or those situations um, to move yourself forward. So in a way, if you look at it like that, you can almost always make opportunity in bad situations or in life. Um, opportunities to move yourself forward so creating opportunities being aware of opportunities and being prepared for those opportunities when they present themselves huge in uh, you know being able to to move forward I'm trying to think of another quote I'll make one up myself. An opportunity lost is like the time you won't get back. You lose that time you had. You had an opportunity that presented itself. You missed out on it because you weren't prepared or you weren't consciously looking for it. And instead of being ahead in an alternate <laughs> life, you would have been a lot, a lot further along than where you are right now. Had you not missed that opportunity, it's, it's, it could change. A, a simple one opportunity can change your whole life. One opportunity can change your whole life. You know? So missing opportunities, uh, they could really stop you from getting where you want to go. Um, at least... Could they really? Yeah. Yeah. Really, they could. If you're missing, if you're missing all your opportunities, and this is just me thinking about it now, thinking if what I'm saying is actually true, because like I'm still on the journey, guys. I still don't know. I I, I know some things, but I don't know ever, anything, and I don't really like talking in absolutes because you know there's a asterisk for everything, you know. Um, he says that if you miss one opportunity, another opportunity doesn't present itself. It takes you from I guess that could happen in some cases. But, you know, you want to be consciously aware. Have your options open, you know, of the opportunities. And always be prepared. If you think about what I'm saying, nothing of it. It is bad. And this wind is crazy, man. 
It was so warm last week. Let's fucking break out this bitch again. Sorry, but it is cold. I'm gonna end it here, guys. This is probably long as hell. It's not that good, but hopefully what I said, someone takes it and they get something out of it. Um, you know, always be prepared. Always act as if something could be around the other corner. And if you're and if you're not prepared for it, you could lose it. That'll help motivate you to stay in, you know, have that mindset and be on uh be on alert and uh be uh be prepared at any moment. It's not a bad thing. Alright, I'll see you guys at the gym. Alright, we're at the gym. Um, like that. I'm gonna start with arms. I'm debating whether I'll start with hamstrings or not. The program says to start with quads. Ooh, I don't man. think doing hamstring curls is gonna affect my performance with people? Uh, high bar squats. So I think I'm just gonna do the hamstring to warm everything up and then go from there. Fuck, man. Fuck, that wasn't even failure. That was a bad, that was a balance thing.
Yeah. <sighs> 